When you have a dream and you start working toward it and you share that dream that you have with other people, they're not going to see it like you do. They'll laugh at you. They'll think you're crazy. And sometimes you're going to think you're crazy too. You're going to question yourself. It's hard. It's hard when everyone around you is doubting you and making fun of you and telling you to give it up, that you're wasting your time. It's very hard. But you know what? Every great successful person was ridiculed before they were revered. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it and get on with it. Stop telling your visions to other people because they're not going to see it. Why you think you keep imagining opening a business? Why you keep imagining graduating? getting a better job? Why do you keep imagining buying a house? Why do you keep imagining driving a really nice car? Why do you keep imagining getting rich one day? Why do you keep imagining that? Because the universe is talking to you. It's showing you something that it has for you. Your perception has everything to do with how this year is going to work. It is not what you perceive about me. It's what I perceive about me. Have opinions and feelings about yourself independent of the feedback. The day that you allow the opinions of the outside world to dictate the way you feel about yourself, it is the beginning of the end of you living a blessed and self-loving, secure life. It is not the car that I drive or any of the jewelry that I own or the size of my house that defines my self-worth. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot when you don't think I'm hot. I'm amazing when you don't think I'm amazing. I love me even if you stop loving me. You can say the nastiest, meanest, evilest shit that you could ever conjure up. It will never change the way I feel about myself. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. I am great and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am phenomenal and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am going to do great things and I don't owe anybody an apology. Stand up for your dream. Stand up for what you want in your life. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. You've got to say yes. I can make it. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes! Yes! It's your dream. Nobody's going to see it like you do it. It's your dream. Nobody's going to feel it like you feel it. It's your dream. Nobody's going to be as dedicated to it as you are. It's your dream, and they don't have to understand, and they don't have to like it, and they don't have to do it. It doesn't make a difference. It's your dream, and you, my friend, have been given the task to make it happen, and you can't let anything stop you from doing what you were called to do. I was created to do great things and I will no longer ask others for their permission. I don't expect you to believe in my dream like I believe in my dream. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Because it's my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your pieces together of your puzzle. I put mine together. I put this life together. I made this happen. Nobody helped me to get here. I had to get up. I had to go to class. I had to read. I had to study. I had to write. I understood that the dream is real, but the lifestyle is real. You got to earn this. Let the dream strip you. Let it remake and mold you. Life's going to whip your butt. Life is going to bully you. Stop crying. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it pump you. 
We all go through it. Some of you, though, you let your pain pump you. You let your pain make you quit. You have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, when people tell you stupid, when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. And I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you're broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you're rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Keep dreaming. Keep focusing on your dream. Keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. You're going to get punched in the mouth by life. You'll be left flat on the ground, gasping for air, and thinking to yourself, Will I ever be able to get back up? Sometimes you'll feel trapped in the chains of defeat and it'll feel like everything is going against you. Maybe you're walking through depression right now. Maybe you're in a valley right now that you've experienced the worst failure of your whole entire life. And you're on the verge of quitting. I don't care how strong you are, I don't care how tough you are, I don't care how resilient you are, I don't care how mean you are, eventually you get to a breaking point. Eventually even the strong get tired, even the strong get weary, even the strong get to the breaking point and come to the point that you feel like if one more thing happens to me, I'm going to lose it. Listen to me, don't give up, stay in it, stay focused. One of the things that we have to do as we're pursuing our dreams and our goals is that we have to know that failure is not an option. You've got to tell yourself, despite the circumstances, the situations, you have to tell yourself that I'm not going anywhere until I get to go. Until I make my dreams become a reality, I'm not quitting. I don't care how much money I have to invest. I don't care how much time I have to invest. I'm going to continue to do this until I become successful. You can pretend that you care, but you can't pretend that you're there. The only way you can be there is to show up. And what I'm asking you to do for me, you'll never be a failure if you show up every single day. Every single day when I come, I show up and I let failure know. Failure is not an option. You can't even let it sink into your brain. Not even a second. You have to know that this thing is going to work. Come hell or high water, whatever it is that I set out to do, it may not happen in six months, it may not happen in a year, it may not happen in two years, but at some point, my dream is going to become a reality. It's the perseverance of the individual that overpowers all obstacles, all challenges, all issues. It's the one who's willing to get knocked down. Find the strength to get back up again and again and again for as long as it fucking takes. The one with the never say die attitude. The one who refuses to be denied. The one who never surrenders. You can't complain because things are getting harder. You got to get tougher. You got to thicken your skin. Stop throwing in the towel at the first sight of failure and stand up inside of yourself. You got to let the world know that you ain't leaving without succeeding. Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 things that do not work. It's 10,000 things that didn't work. And all I have to do is the next one. And once I do the next one or the one after that or the one after that, bam, I'm going to be successful. I'm telling you, every time I stand up here and do what I'm doing, all I can remember was sleeping in abandoned buildings. That's all I could think about. But I kept trying and I kept trying and I kept trying. And I kept going. I was consistent and I'm standing here today. I don't see failure. I see grit. Determination, drive, sacrifice. Failure means you're trying. A whole bunch of people out here never fail because they never try. I don't look at it as failure. I look at it as my first, second, third attempt. Whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, you're not going to be able to make it happen if you don't have a dream party every day. You've got to have a dream session. You've got to take out 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, however much time you have, and you've got to actually go in a room, close the door, and you've got to see yourself doing it. 
You've got to feel yourself doing it. You've got to actually walk in it. You've got to go in the future, live it out, come back in the present, and start working toward it. Every single day, we're not waiting for it to happen. We just don't have sight. Sight is for people who live in the present. We have vision. We're going to make it happen before it happens. For every minute that you think you can't do it, I need you to offset it with dreaming about the fact that you can. If you have a 30-minute pity party, I need you to have an hour success party. You know what crazy means? Crazy means that you have the ability to see things that other people can't. And if you're not f***ing crazy, you're never going to succeed at anything in life. Everybody has got to be a little bit off. Anybody that's done something great, they don't think like anybody else. They can't. And the people that tell you you can't do it, you know what your response to them is? Watch me. You're going to prove to everybody, you're going to prove to yourself that you can handle this. For it's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again. Because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions? Who spends himself in a worthy cause? Who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement? And who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly? So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. One thing in life, that's for sure. The valiant motherfucker always wins.